everybody how stampers today I'm going to show you how to do iris folding with ribbon you may have tried iris folding in the past with um, paper strips but um, today I'm going to show you how to do it with ribbon so this is the card that we're going to make I've used two stamp sets from the best of series uh, best of brides and babies and the best of love so let's get started the first thing that we're going to need to do is to stamp our image so I will take and bring my brides and babies and my stays on ink and I'm going to ink it down onto my one and three quarters by two and three quarters piece of cardstock. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to put in a cutting mat and an exacto knife and what I did was I just cut all the way around her dress. Okay, just take and go all the way around her dress, just the inside of it and then you're going to take and you're going to pop it out. Okay, so now the dress on the inside is empty. What we want to do now, make sure you're using your silicone mat, you're going to take and you're going to turn it over, and for this dress I'm going to take and I'm going to use um, our ribbon that is the Whisper White, um, it's the Whisper White uh, Grow Grain Ribbon, and for the one that I just showed you, the uh, sample, it is the Whisper White Taffeta Ribbon. So let's just try it with the, with the uh, Grow Grain Ribbon here. All right, so what I did was I put um, mono, or, uh, not mono adhesive, but snail adhesive all the way around, and I'm just gonna start adding my pieces. Now for this one, I'm gonna use probably about five pieces. When I used the taffeta, I only needed about four, okay? And it's really important to get all of your snail all the way around. I like to keep adding snail um, in between here at the top, but we can do that at the end. Um, and you're just going to keep adding your pieces one by one. Yep, I think it's going to take about five to finish this. Okay, and my last piece is going to go on right here. Okay. Yep, they're all sticking pretty good. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the back, and when we turn it over, that's what it looks like from the front. Let me just kind of take and see if we can get a close-up on this. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so what's the next step? What we're going to do is we're going to take our next piece, which is our basic black, and that's two by three inches, and we're going to add our snail very carefully to this one. If you use your silicone mat, it works much better. Okay, you don't have to worry about getting it here on the top. You're going to take and you're going to adhere it to your okay. piece right here. And then we're going to adhere that to the basic gray piece, which is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. We're going to take. Our base card, which is uh, four and a quarter by eleven, folded in the middle. I'm next going to stamp my love from the best of love series and attach that to my base card. Now I've pre-embossed from our new embossing folder called Pretty Print Textured Embossing Folder. And what I did was I did a whole long sheet. I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it and cutting them um, in strips. And that way there I can make many cards all at the same time. Um, I do these cards um, once a month for the gals that have purchased from me the um, Best of series. And um, this is going out to all the gals that pr um, purchased the Best of Brides and Babies. Now the last piece you want to do is to uh, glitz it up a little bit. So what I did was I took my two-way glue, right here, and I just uh, colored onto her veil and onto all of the flowers. And then I took some Dazzling Diamonds glitter, added it to my piece right here. There we have it. This is a card that I'm doing for a class at the end of August. It's called my black and white class, and everything that we do in my class is going to be done in black and white. So this was one of the, the cards that we're going to do, and I just love it. Um, it's pretty cool. It's uh, 
a little technique plus um, just an elegant card. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my post and come back soon. Take care.